On the 29th of January 2009, the first Café Scientifique took place at Durham University in Fisher House. The speakers, Calum Dernford, Chris Orm and Sophie Palmer from the Institute of Particle Physics Phenomenology Durham presented their topic, Smashing Particles at the Large Hadron Collider. The theme involved presenting their work on the new discoveries that particle physics may bring in the future and the presentation of the new established particle collider in Geneva, Switzerland. The presentation began with describing more what particle physics is all about and how can explain the world around us. Scientists like Kalum, Chris and Sophie smash particles into each other to determine what they are made of and construct a table with all known and discovered particles that there are. The presentation was interactive with members of the public deeply involved in the discussion. The number of people was significant, showing the great interest of both specialists and non-specialists in the area. After the presentation, I had the chance to interview the speakers. Today, I'm here with Sophie, Callum and Chris to talk about their presentation at the Café Scientifique, Smashing Particles at the Large Hardon Collider. So can you please start by telling um, who you are and what you are researching about? Yeah, sure. We're particle physics students here at Durham University, in the Institute of Particle Physics Phenomenology. Uh, um, today we started talking about what particle physics is and how we go about exploring the universe. So basically what we do is we work out what things are made of. We work out the fundamental building blocks to make up matter and the stars and the sea and everything and work out how they behave. And the way we do that is by smashing stuff together and watching what happens, watching what comes out. And uh, is there a large Hardon Collider, which is a new um, establishment in Switzerland, as I um, found out that is your new, <laughs> let's say, playground? Yes, it's a very exciting new experiment. The biggest experiment in the world. It's just, just coming online now. Okay. So we explained a bit about how that works. Okay. And uh, can you tell us about why do you want to do this kind of experiment and how people can benefit from this? Well, the reason we do it is because it's exciting new science. It's interesting. We've got, we want to find out how the universe works. Yeah. But there have been some, some spin-offs. So uh, a lot of medical imaging technology comes out of understanding particle physics. So there is a lot of benefit that was happening in the past in this field. Yeah. Like, like the yeah. X-rays, web, MRI, the yeah. transistor. And hopefully uh, we're going to see a lot of um, improvements in the future and a lot of findings. So I wish you all the luck in this. There, there has also been uh, some speculation in the media about the fact that this um, collider would uh, come and maybe just the experiment will go a bit wrong and this will lead to uh, the end of the world. So how can you uh, speculate on this? It's how not can you speculation, it's scare stories. The main point to realise here is that we're doing a control in a controlled environment that nature does all the time. Uh, by all the time, we every second. Cool. And we're still here. Go figure. Yeah. <laughs> so there is no reason to concern. No. Absolutely not. Okay. Not. So I wish you uh, the best of luck and hope to find great findings in the coming years. 